Hey, Prophet, I got a lot of haters. I'm so sick of all these haters. Listen, you got haters? Good, good. That means you out here winning. Anybody out here doing anything is going to have a lot of haters. You don't got to give a flying F about no goddamn haters. What you got to worry about is an envious person. Prophet, but a hater and envious is the same thing. No, it's not. There's a huge difference, and I'm about to break it down to you right here, right now. It's your host, Richard Prophet. <laughs> Apex Predator, Last Dragon. <laughs> I'm at my la uh, Lake Mayaka Park with, with my buddy, Jin. And we're just like, look at the beautifulness. Beautifulness of the, the lake. The birds, the sun, and the sky. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Hey, Prophet, I got a lot of haters. I'm so sick of all these haters. Listen, you got haters? Good, good. That means you out here winning. Anybody out here doing anything is going to have a lot of haters. You don't got to give a flying F about no goddamn haters. What you got to worry about is an envious person. Prophet, but a hater and envious is the same thing. No, it's not. There's a huge difference, and I'm about to break it down to you right here, right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Eight God, eight God, eight God in the city. Uh, I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon, and uh, welcome back, man. Um, so we just left Miami. We're now back up in uh, Sarasota. We came to check on the Cookie Girl, on the Cookie Girl's townhouse. Um, and I just came out here in the back. Gonna just relax, man, and I figure uh, I shoot a quick video with the family. So, I was talking to my my brother I grew up with uh, from the old neighborhood, actually, way, way long ago. Uh, he moved out here to Florida because we're from New York originally. He moved out here to Florida 30 years ago. Actually, uh, he moved out here uh, because of me. Uh, that's 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 a. Uh, that's a long, long story that uh, uh, that we're not gonna get into um, anyway. Uh, maybe one day, but today's not that day. So, but uh, I was having a conversation with him, and I was like, you know what? Um, I really broke something down to him, and he and he was like, wow, that's deep. And I was like, you know what? That's the perfect title for a video. So I want to share it now here with the family. So sit back and uh, enjoy, and we're going to get into it. Light one up real quick. really quiet over here as opposed to the nightlife in Miami
All right, good. So, I was talking to my brother today, right? Let's, uh, Uncle Broadway, he goes by Uncle Broadway. Uh, he's a host in one of these big famous uh, clubs out in Miami. Real big, everybody knows it, everybody knows him. He's famous in the city. I call him the mayor of Miami. He knows everybody. So, he calls me today. He knows the eight God is back in the city. So he calls me. He says, Prophet, what's up? Where you at? Can we link up? And I said, oh man, I'm driving up to Sarasota today. But, uh, oh, how long are you going to be? Oh, I don't know, two, three days, whatever. A couple of days a week, maybe. Uh, but when I get back, uh, we can link up. Why, what's up? He goes, oh, man, I got to talk to you, man. I'm so, you know, I got so many haters on the job. It's really it's really getting me sick, man. They, they always hating on the kid. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me stop you right there, right? Um. Anytime you're doing anything and you're winning or you appear to be winning out here, you're going to have haters, right? But a hater is somebody like, like way across the room or if like you, you on YouTube, you're making videos or whatever, you know, somebody way on the internet, way across the world, hating, leaving negative comments you know, talking all types of crap. Uh, you know, anybody that's doing anything and you got some motion, you got some traction or you're winning, you're going to have haters. I mean, it, you know, you're going to have haters. Anybody out here winning is going to have haters. Man, I got haters by the truckload, you know, by, by the city block, you know, haters hate on me. You know, I've been underestimated from day one. And, you know, look at me now, you know. I've been underestimated from day one. And, you know, I'm out here winning. But uh, so anybody that's doing anything in this world, no matter what field you're in, uh, you know, whether you're in real estate, whether you're in motion pictures, whether you're on the Internet, or whether you're on the club scene, after hours scene, whatever, you own bars, restaurants, if your restaurant is doing better than the guy down the street, he's going to be hating on you, right? So, but you got to welcome that. That means that if you're getting hated on, you're winning. Hey, God. That means you're winning out here, right? So, oh, and again, it's the year of the dragon, 2024. Happy Lunar New Year. Uh, year of the dragon. It's our year, baby. And, you know, I'm winning out here. Hate on me all year because we're making big moves this year. Grand slams. We're hitting grand slams this year. But anyway, I'm used to haters, right? I've been getting haters, you know, most of my life, right? So, hey, I welcome them. I, I applaud a hater. You know, it's, there has been a time in my life where I needed new haters because my old haters, they started to like me, right? <laughs> you know, so... Anyway, you know, they start, you know, they, they just want to ride your wave because if they see you constantly, constantly winning. They're like, you know, let me just jump on the bandwagon because this guy can't lose, right? It, well, it looks like that to the hater. They don't know, you know, what's happening behind the scenes. Um, uh, it might look like you're on easy street, uh, but they don't see, uh, you know, you know, the 18 hour days, they don't see the missed holidays. They don't see the missed times with family, the missed birthdays, uh, you know, yeah. you know. Yeah, easy street, easy street. Easy street's not that easy, uh, let me tell you. But uh, anyway, I, you know, it's better, you know, I've been broke and I've had money, and having money is way better. Uh, so let's just get that out of the way. Uh, 
you know, happy. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't feel like a man is really supposed to be happy, like happy all the time, happy. I mean, you know, maybe you have moments of happiness, right? But uh, happiness is really, uh, when, when you're a child, you know, is your happy time. And women, you know, should be happy. And, and for children, right? Happiness is really for children. Um, yeah, so, but anyway, no one cares about a man's happiness in any regard. Uh, if you really want to come to it, come down to it, you know, you're supposed to, uh, as a man, you're supposed to provide and do what you have to do as a man. Yeah. So anyway, getting back to the hater, the hater thing, right? So, right. So what I was saying before, anytime you're winning in any field, in any, in any metric, if you're shining, you're going to have haters. God bless them. God bless them all. That means I'm out here. Yeah, I got haters. God bless them. Come one, come all. Love your haters. What you have to be concerned with is an envious person. An envious person. That's what you worry about now in this video we're gonna we're gonna delve uh, a little deep into something um, I'm gonna I'm gonna reference here I'm gonna give you the exact reference I gave to my brother Uncle Broadway um, true story true story uh, who remembers the movie um, I'm sure everybody's seen it fantastic movie great story uh except the end i mean i'm a patriot uh you know patriot you know through and through i bleed red white and blue so another patriot and a great movie great book uh, american sniper right everybody saw it american sniper that actor's great. He was great in the role. Um, I forget his name. I know his face though. Bradley, 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 right? So yeah, American Sniper, right? So great story, right? But tragic story in the end. He was a hero. American Sniper was an all around hero, right? So he had haters, he had haters. All around, you all around for miles, different countries, all these different groups. Uh, you know, they hated on him. He was the American sniper. He was the deadliest guy around. You know, he had haters, and and they couldn't do anything to him. You know, he was picking them off, picking them off. They couldn't touch American sniper. He was the man. So all his haters, you know, they had to just, you know. Respect the God, you know what I mean? He, he was uh, all American, American sniper. Fantastic at what he did. He was the best in in what he did. I mean, you know, hey. It's necessary, right? These are soldiers, so I mean, you know, It's necessary. That's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, he had all these haters, right? They all hated him, you know, all around the country, all different countries, all, you know, Middle East. They all hated him because he was fantastic at what he did, you know. But that just added to his lure, added to his legend. Oh, he's the American sniper. He you know, pick you off from 50 miles away. You know what I mean? It added to the legend of the American sniper. But he didn't have to worry about any of the haters. You know, they couldn't touch him. They were miles away. You know, a hater could never touch the American sniper. What he had to worry about was the envious person. You know the story of American sniper? 
You know the story? So just real quick, American Sniper was the best sniper. Uh, you know, he had all these confirmed case. Uh, and, you know, he people were, were afraid. They were afraid of him because he was he was deadly. You know, he was absolutely deadly. So in country, uh, for those don't know, that don't know, uh, you know, that means when you're deployed, um, you know, you're overseas or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever your combat tours are, right, you're in country. Um, in country, he had nothing to worry about because he only had haters and he dealt with haters accordingly, right? I'm not going to tell you the whole story if, for those that don't know, but for those that do know, this is just a recap. Um, in country, he didn't have anything to worry about. Like, he was American sniper, right? He took care of his haters. He knew his haters. He knew his haters. And they were dealt with accordingly, right? Um... Your haters, your haters, they're always in front of you. You can see a hater. You can see a hater. It could be miles away. It could be blocks away. It could be across the room. You're looking at a hater. You see a hater. Hi, hater, right? Hi, hater. Hi, hater. You don't got to worry nothing about no hater. You know, haters get dealt with accordingly. Now, an envious person is different. Prophet, what's the difference between an envious person and a hater? Let me explain it to you. Uh, again, to ref reference American Sniper, right? This is the same thing I was telling Broadway, man. You don't got to worry about no haters. The, hurry, the hater is the least of your worries. What you got to worry about is an envious person. Because an envious person... He's not across the room. An envious person is the guy right next to you. Is the guy on the side of you. Is the guy standing right behind you. Right? Uh, American Sniper. All these, con all these tours he did combat tours he did, volunteered for tours, back, 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 until, you know, he completed what he wanted to complete, right? Go read the book, go watch the movie. Um, once he did that, he rotated back to the world, and he was done. But since he his legend was so big, uh, you know, the guys stateside, you know, he would take vets and he would work with them. He would help them. He would take them to the range. He would take disabled guys. He, you know, he, he was big in the community, right? And he would work with guys that have, you know, rotated back to the world and uh, had some issues. So what happened to American Sniper was Bradley Cooper. That's his name, Bradley Cooper. Uh, he was great in the movie, by the way. Shout out, shout out Bradley Cooper. Um, He's actually a cool guy. He goes to this little coffee shop in this city uh, by himself. Uh, and he'll say hi to you. you say hi to him. Say hi back. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the American Sniper, right? So, he rotates back to the world. And he's working with disabled vets guys, you know, 
because he's a legend. Everybody loves the American Sniper, right? Legend, actually. Legend, right? Uh, was his nickname. So, all those tours in country, all those tours in country, he had nothing to worry about. They were haters, and they were dealt with accordingly, right? What happened to American Sniper was he got back he was working with vets here, back, stateside. He was stateside. He, he was done. He was working with disabled vets uh, or, you know, vets that had issues, you know, PTSD and what have you, PTSD and what have you. Um, and the story goes that... He took a guy out, took him to the range, teaching him how to, you know, working on, on you know, his technique with the guy. And little did American Sniper know that the guy, not a hater, fan, a fan. Hey, legend, hey, legend, you the man, you the man, legend, you the man, a fan. Not a hater. Little did he know this fan was an envious motherfucker. So they're at the range. He's trying to show him ways to improve his technique. This envious bastard steps behind the American sniper. Remember, he's not a hater, he's a fan, he loves him. Legend, 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 loves him. Steps behind him, this envious bastard, steps behind him and blows his brains out. This envious bastard with a big smile on his face. I'm your biggest fan. Work with me. Help me, please. Standing alongside him. With a smile on his face. Gets behind him. And the green face of envy. Grabs hold of him. And he blows American Sniper's brains out. Like that, I mean, hey, you know, that 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 puts chills. That that because I know what it is, man. I know, I know what a hater is. Who gives a damn about a hater, man? But I also know what an envious bastard is. And I'll be honest with you, man. An envious bastard. You don't know what they look like. You don't know what they look like because they come with a smiley face. They're not going to come as a hater. You're going to see a hater. An envious bastard is going to be standing right next to you with a smiley face. I'm your biggest fan. And in reality, an envious bastard is your worst friggin' nightmare. You know? An American sniper, the deadliest guy in the United States, you know, in the world. Worldwide, deadly. An envious took him out. Stateside, stateside on American soil. Yeah. So. Don't ever confuse a hater with an envious person. A hater is across the room hating on you. That means you're winning. You should be glad you got haters. You need more, you know. That means you're doing bigger things. Do bigger things to get more haters, you know. Come on, haters. Come on, haters. I need more haters. What you have to worry about is an envious motherfucker. That dude, 
He's not across the room with a mad face on, running his mouth. He's standing right next to you with a smile on, telling you I love you. Thank you for mentoring me. Thank you for showing me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm your biggest fan. I love you, brother. And then he'll step around be right behind you and blow your friggin' brains out. That's the one you gotta worry about. So an envious bastard and a hater are not the same. All right, that's today's videos. I'm the eight god, man, I, and I'm 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 in Sarasota. And uh, happy Lunar New Year! This is the year the dragon 2024 is big prosperity and wealth and health to you and your family. Everybody listening to this video, to the whole family out there, I'm wishing you many blessings through this video. Many blessings, blessing on to you and your family for this year, the year of the dragon. Listen, man. There's prosperity in the air this year. Anything you try this year, try it big wholeheartedly and you're going to win because this is the age. This is the year. This is the 12th year in the cycle and uh, it's just wealth in the air, man. Good luck to everybody out there. I'm your host, Richard Prophet. And if I can help you out at all, drop me a question, drop me a line, drop me a comment on this video. And I'll be glad to help. And if you want any inside information on anything, real estate, Rolex watches, anything like that, consider joining the OTI family. Uh, just check out some of the titles. If anything interests you, any of the titles interest you, um, uh, and it feels right to you, join up, man. And uh, i love to see you there. All right. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And... Uh, Please pay attention to this video. All right, I'm out. Eight Immortal, I am the voice for those who have none. I am the light for those born in the dark. I protect the power for all the souls out there who are weak. I am the fire for those who are lukewarm. I am the passion for those who have yet to find theirs. I am the climb for those who have no stairs. I represent all the hurting souls who are told they would never be nothing. I am immortal. Cheers, family.